she has multiple lipoma all over her body but her, the main problematic area is this this forearm is very prominent lipomas almost distorting the shape of the arm she has such a nice uh, arm there and you can see here this is gone multiple bumps and arms which are actually irritating and sometimes they are in, in her profession also she feels difficulty because of this because everyone keeps on asking and you cannot keep wearing full sleeves all the time yes. so it's not only just uh, psychological mm -hmm. it is a social issue also sometimes for uh, many of us so simple treatment is available in the form of removal we need not take such big cuts if you can focus here you can see we have taken a very big incision here mm -hmm. but uh, we can do with a very small hole which is which, should, which causes almost no scar or just a uh, dot like the acne scar or type of thing um, which uh, uh, which also fades gradually if you take care of it if you don't take care of it it will be a very small acne scar you need not bother about it and the best part about this is recovery is very fast for how long this much has taken for healing how many days the incision about was there 15 to 20 days 15 to 20 mm -hmm. days have this had taken but when we do the through this technique it takes three to five days to completely heal the area and there are no stitches so no stitches so there is uh, no stitch marks and uh, scarring is very minimal so what all treatments except this you have taken uh, other treatments are you basic homeopathy you have tried or what, what what medicine you have taken in ayurveda Ayurvedic Kachana Gugudu. You are taking Kachana Gugudu. Uh -huh. And another, uh, and in homeopathy? Homeopathy. Is she sure we treat? Calcarea Pos? Yes, yes, yes. Calcarea Pos is the yes. commonest medicine. Uh -huh. With so many patients come after taking that medicine. But I don't know whether it helps or not. I cannot say. But from my patient's experience who has taken 6 years, 7 years of Calcarea Pos, it has not worked. Because we have to understand these are the lumps. Mm -hmm. You are taking a medicine. In a, in a capsulated lung, mm -hmm. which the limited blood supply with a proper capsule, which is not feasible, mm -hmm. that medicine will be able to dissolve it. Mm -hmm. If it is a cancerous cell or other third cells, even that can chemotherapy can still act. Mm -hmm. But this type of lungs, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So uh, recently we had a patient from London who came. Mm -hmm. They had given some injections in this area on the mm -hmm. lymphomas. That also do not help because the, what happens is when, whenever the, you give the injection, mm -hmm. that becomes liquefied in small part and then it causes a lot of fibrosis. Mm -hmm. Removing those lipoma again becomes a challenge. Okay. So I don't recommend that. But if you want to try, don't try in all of them. Mm -hmm. In one lipoma you can try, but I don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. And when the fibrosis is there, it becomes inflamed, it causes pain and all type of chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. So removal is Till date is the best available option. No dietary restriction. What what food control you have done for this? Bhot sara, I didn't eat fast food. Somebody From, told you eat uh, fast food. But I recommend you will eat everything. There is non-veg, no restrictions. Okay. okay. These lipomas has no correlation. 